One of the questions we get from time to time is this, what documents do I need for a good estate plan in Georgia? Hi, I'm Joel Beck, estate planning and probate attorney with Peach State Wills and Trust, and I'll answer that question in today's short video. So our question today is this, what documents do I need for a good estate plan in Georgia? At a minimum, we need documents to address really three things. First, how is your health care going to be managed if you're incapacitated and who's going to be in charge of that? Second, how is your money and your property and your personal business affairs going to be managed if you're incapacitated and who's in charge of that? And then third, how are your assets going to be distributed when you die and who's in charge of that? And if you have minor age children, who should care for them if something happens to both parents? So to address each of these points, a foundational estate plan in Georgia is going to have at least three documents, a will, a health care directive, and a durable power of attorney. But your wishes may lead to your using other documents, commonly perhaps adding in a revocable living trust. A benefit of the revocable living trust is to avoid the delays and cost associated with the probate process and to potentially provide an easier time managing certain assets if you become incapacitated. And if you have property in multiple states, a revocable trust can save the family from the time and money and energy associated with having two or more probate cases to go through. Now importantly, the documents in your estate plan should be done in compliance with Georgia law and optimized for our laws to work as efficiently as possible. For example, we generally want our wills in Georgia to waive requirements that the executor has to post a surety bond and to also waive the requirements that they provide an inventory and appraisal and annual and other periodic reports back to the court. We also generally want our executors to have very broad powers to administer the estate without having to go back to the court to do each and every little thing. And so we'll generally cite to Georgia's statute outlining these broad powers and grant the executor the ability to act in manners consistent with those powers. On a power of attorney document, we want to make sure that our agents have the powers that they need and that our documents are in compliance with Georgia law under our revised Uniform Power of Attorney Act a few years ago so that if a bank or a financial institution or other third party tries to not honor the document, we can uh, get a court to force them to do so. Now, for more information about estate planning in Georgia, about wills, health care directives, powers of attorney, revocable trust, and other things, be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Check out our blogs and website at peachstatewills.com. And while you're there, download our free guide to estate planning in Georgia at peachstatewills.com. Just click on free info at the top and then select estate planning resources. We'll send you that guide, no strings attached. And if you're ready to speak with an experienced estate planning lawyer about how to protect yourself and your family, we'd be honored if you gave us a call at 678-344-5342. Thanks.